You better not laugh at me because I'm talking with a microphone like this today, okay? <laughs> I look I look a bit like uh, like I'm doing an interview. So what are you go we going to talk about today, Clément? Today we're talking about rose fragrances, guys. Listen, I don't have a top that allows me to put it here. Otherwise, you're not going to hear me, okay? <laughs> Rose fragrance scent in perfumery is one of the oldest ones. The roses have a wide range of smells, so you can really have fun with the fragrance. In general, the rose smell smells sometimes lemony fresh. It can smell very powdery, it can have a little bit of darkness with woody note, it can be very fruity, but in general, it's always intensely romantic. And the most famous rose out of hold is probably the Centifolia rose. It's a fragile yet very precious rose. It is very rare, rich and a complex composition. Sweet, subtle and strong honey-like scent. It's incredible. If you ever go to the south of France, you should go to Grasse where the Centifolia rose or May rose uh, is blossoming. A rose that is also used a lot in perfumery is Turkish rose. It, it's got more of a very sweet uh, properties i would say it's a little bit less expensive so usually it's more used but it's still a beautiful rose i really love it but it's got more of an opulent sweet fragrance i'm not going to tell you all the rose range otherwise this video is going to last uh, one hour but <laughs> maybe more my first one is narciso rouge it's usually the same with Narciso Rodriguez. Their fragrances are super powdery. So when it's powdery, it's got a beautiful sillage. And I love that in this fragrance. This, this one, especially the rouge one, is underrated. It's a perfect rose, a makeup rose. You know when you apply your blusher, when you smell the sweetness and the powderiness of makeup, of a makeup box, it smells like this. It may smell a little bit more like a mature vintage rose to me. It smells intensely romantic and teasing, inviting, all in feminism but very classy voila if you feel like rosy blush like me today and i love how it sprays look 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 you seen that spray perfect spray this one is a paris paris by chanel and if i hear anyone say paris paris no paris <laughs> we don't pronounce the s I love this new addition of Leso Cologne uh, from Chanel. So Leso, if you don't know, it's an exclusive range that is usually sold in boutique or in specific places. The aim of those fragrances are not to be extremely long lasting, but be extremely uh, refreshing and to be travel size. So you're invited to travel with those fragrances. All of them have a different destination from Paris because Paris is the heart of Chanel. Voilà. And, uh, Paris, Paris, uh, voilà, you go to Paris, to Paris. <laughs> so you take the RER, the uh, the subway, and that's it. Uh, you go <laughs> oh my God. So it's Damask Rose. It's a rose that is, for me, like very romantic, blossoming, but it does have a lemony aspect. That's what I was telling you in the, in the opening. A lot of citruses, pink pepper. Pink pepper, one of the favorite ingredients of Chanel to make their fragrance very fizzy. So it's uplifting, fizzy, and it's got the whole charm, melancholy of Parisian girls. Um, I was born in Paris, but I'm nothing like a Parisian guy. I'm more like uh, the, the countryside uh, Brittany girl, like a bit rough. <laughs> <laughs> having cocktail and beers you, you see <laughs> that's me <laughs> it's like a, a, a fresh uh, lemony water rosy water and i absolutely love it i feel for me like you usually if you're asking what uh, the parisian style is that's usually a less is more style uh, you know in france you, you spray a little bit of freshness and that's it you go you put your white shirt you don't look too complicated in the clothes and you go, you see this kind of vibe. Oh, you know those girls that are putting a messy bun and then look fabulous. Totally not me uh, again. But uh, is Chanel egoist? Ah, okay. I took again Chanel. I am really sorry, but I love Chanel. What do you want me to do? And I think it's been a long time I didn't talk that much about Chanel. Okay, so I have the right to. I took Chanel egoist because I wanted a proper intense rose. 
a masculine rose to prove that men can really feel great with a rosy fragrance. And I think like now men like they, they, they wear that a lot. Fragrances like L'Homme à la Rose by Maison Francisco Dijon that are amazing on men. Uh, Lyric Man from uh, Amouage, uh, things like that, you know. But for me, my favorite, Egoist. I love a vintage, for example. I love vintage fragrance and this is punching. Parism and opulence, uh, padded shoulders of the 80s, even though it's from the 90s, okay. Um, carnation with each flower that you don't smell a lot nowadays uh, it's very intense it's got a green aspect it's very woody this fragrance is heavy proper heavy the tobacco is intense so it smells a bit earthy uh, very smoky uh, you don't need one two sprays you're done for the day i think a man that can put this fragrance on sexy something that you used to do uh, in the chanel uh, team member when i was working with them well some the girls like me and some others were wearing egoist uh, on a woman's skin if you can handle a woody rosewood fragrance like this uh, it's amazing Noir de Noir by Tom Ford i wanted a gourmand and earthy fragrance i wanted to break the romanticism of the roses. This is stereotype. Noir de Noir is full of saffron, saffron slightly sugary spice that gives the luxurious note to a fragrance. A truffle, black truffle that smells very earthy but also a little bit gourmand. Black rose. So it's not a rose that is... I'm there. No, it's like tough rose. Vanilla, patchouli, a lot of patchouli. So it's also very creamy and the wood is in the backbone to even give more charism and darkness. Sorry, I had enough. I prefer it like that, I don't know why. Portrait of a Lady by Frédéric Mal. I, uh, to me, like, I'm sorry to serve you the most popular one, uh, but I had to serve you this one. For me, it's iconic. One of the most beautiful roses I've ever smelled. I love the incense vibe, the clove, the spice clove in this fragrance. The incense is beautiful sophistication. This is pure elegance. So I'll see it more on someone a little bit more mature that is wearing like, for, for example, you see like um, this a bit uh, tomboy vibe, but like a woman super feminine wearing a suit, wearing this, for me, this is the best you could do with this fragrance. The raspberry at the beginning that gives a punchy, a fruity opening and then super dark, super mystical, very bewitching. It smells also very natural. I need to wear that more. I've got it actually, I need to wear it more. Uh Honorable mention, of course, I'm thinking of Rosal Nobile, if you want a vintage natural rose. I'm thinking about Eau Tendre by Chanel. Hey, Chanel does a lot of beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, roses. I'm thinking also of uh, Miss Dior and a lot of Dior fragrance in general because Dior is very well known for his Centifolia rose. They have a, a lot of fragrance showcasing this beautiful rose. So. Uh, you're gonna enjoy uh, smelling blue in UK, for example. Atomic Rose by Inisho. That's a bomb. I gifted it to one of uh, my best friends. Intoxicating Eau Capital by Diptyque. If you fancy a little bit more, again, a vintage rose, the proper oil, essential oil. I'm thinking of Lyric Man, Rose Prick from uh, Tom Ford. Of also Tom Ford, Rose de Chine. So you know they launched a collection. I did a review on those three if you want to see the video. Rose de Chine is still my favorite. It. For me, if you like a tea rose, that's beautiful, but don't expect a great longevity. Rose Trocadero from Le Jardin Entrouvé. If you want to pick the rose out of the garden, this is the best one. A hint of greenness as well, stunning. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. As soon as we will be 30k, I will do another week uh, of uh, videos. So uh, subscribe. Uh, don't forget to like the video. It's really important for my analytics. Please, uh, thank you. Uh, also, if you want to give me a little tip, Clemence, you've done a good job. Uh, then you can go on my YouTube account down in the description box. You can also super thanks me. That's well appreciated. And uh, voila. It's, that's, that's everything I wanted to say. I feel like I didn't talk that much today. Is that me? Just tell me in the comments. Did I talk? Did I, did I do less description today? I feel bad when I when I don't talk a lot about a few fragrances. Is that wrong? I'm not sure. Anyway, have a lovely day, guys. Bye now.